Hey and welcome to the Daily Arsenal News Show. Let's begin with our daily news. Mikel Arteta admits he is really concerned about Takahiro Tomiyasu. Arsenal manager Mikel Arteta has admitted he is really concerned about defender Takahiro Tomiyasu. Arteta was speaking to the club's official website and delivered an injury update on a number of players. One of those was Takahiro Tomiyasu, who limped off against Sporting on Thursday. The Japanese fullback, Aqua Quirdly, overstretched and immediately looked in a lot of pain. He couldn't continue and was replaced by Ben White early on in the game. Tomiyasu wasn't involved in the matchday squad yesterday and alongside William Saliba is unavailable during the international break. Arsenal boss Arteta has now admitted that he is really concerned by Tomiyasu's latest injury. The £20 million man has picked up a few fitness problems during his time at the Emirates. Worryingly, the Gunners allowed their only other senior right back leave the club on loan in January. Asked about the extent of Tomiyasu's injury, Arteta said, We don't know. Obviously, the doctor is assessing him. We have had one assessment. They need to have another assessment tomorrow, but it's not looking good, that's for sure. Looking at Tommy, he is not someone who exaggerates things. He was really concerned straight away, and we are concerned. Journalist Tom Canton suggested before the game that Tomiyasu may be out for the rest of the season. It would be a big blow for Arsenal, who could be relying on Ben White to stay fit for the final 10 games of the season. Tomiyasu's versatility has made him such an important player for Mikel Arteta. He would have been straight into the starting lineup yesterday, given William Saliba also limped off against the Sporting. However, the 24 year old will have to support his teammates from the sidelines as they look to secure a massive Premier League title. BBC Pounded issues verdict on Gabriel Martinelli after Arsenal win. Martin Keown told much of the day too that Gabriel Martinelli was outstanding as Arsenal beat Crystal Palace on Sunday, claiming that no defender in the world could probably deal with him for the goal he scored in the emphatic victory. The Gunners go into the international break with a huge win, beating the Eagles to go 8 points clear at the top of the table, and it was Martinelli who opened the scoring, brilliantly creating a yard of space on his left foot before unleashing a strike into the far corner. Of course, that goal was particularly significant because of what happened a few days earlier. It was Martinelli who missed the only penalty during the Europa League tie with Sporting, knocking Mikel Arteta's outside the competition. Funnily enough, Martinelli's goal went into the same corner that his penalty was destined for and Keon believes that he deserves a huge credit for the way he bounced back from that midweek disappointment. He told much of the day too. I thought he was outstanding, especially in that first half. He missed an important penalty as they went out in the Europa League, but he didn't let that show at all. Really driving force the way he started the match, he is full of energy, he takes the game to his opponent, he is quick, he is rapid, he plants himself on that left hand side to drive at defenders whenever he can, he is always probing, trying to make the difference, getting in behind and they just look for him at every opportunity, I thought he played with determination, he received the ball and he defended for the team. He is always trying to affect the game. He gets back early into position. This is something he didn't really do when he first came over from Brazil to play here and he just goes from strength to strength. I don't think there is a defender on the planet who can deal with that, the goal, because of the pace. Mikel Arteta says Bukayo Saka can play much better than he did yesterday. Arsenal manager Mikel Arteta believes Bukayo Saka can play even better than he did against Crystal Palace yesterday. Arteta was speaking to the club's official website after another dominant win in the Premier League. Their midweek defeat on penalties to Sporting was a rare setback in an otherwise fantastic season. Mikel Arteta did rotate his side in the Europa League but ended up calling on the likes of Bukayo Saka and Martin Odegaard to try and win the game. 
The Gunners showed yesterday that the result was very much a one-off, putting a struggling Crystal Palace side to the sword. Bukayo Saka was once again instrumental in their victory, scoring a brace and setting up Gabriel Martinelli's opener. It means he is now scored and assisted more than 10 goals in the league this season, the first player to achieve that feat this campaign. It's a sign of just how consistently good Saka has been, but Arteta believes he can play even better. Arteta has said, the £70,000 a week forward a challenge to continue delivering brilliant performances. Asked about the England international, Arteta said, He is improving because he's got the right teammates that make him better, and that's really important. It's true that he affected the game in the right way for us, and he's been really consistent. We need to maintain that. He remains humble. He knows that he can still be much better, do things a lot better than he does. And that's a big given because he is still 21 years old. Pundits are running out of superlatives to describe Saka with Steve Nicol suggesting he doesn't have a single flaw to his game. Arteta suggested at full time that Saka was actually annoyed because he wasn't able to secure his first Arsenal hat-trick. At 21, he is going to have plenty of opportunities to earn that accolade throughout his career. With 10 games to go, maintaining Saka's fitness will be a priority for Arteta. Even though he is now away on England duty, there was no point risking him picking up an injury in the final minutes. Saka could end up being the difference between a league title and heartbreaking second place finish this season. Mikel Arteta praises a brilliant Rob Holding after Arsenal beat Crystal Palace. Mikel Arteta has hipped praise on Arsenal defender Rob Holding after his performance against Crystal Palace. The Gunners were without William Saliba for the clash at the Emirates Stadium after the Frenchman picked up an injury against Sporting Lisbon on Thursday. Saliba has been ever present for Arsenal this season and he had started in every single Premier League game up until yesterday. Speaking to Sky Sports News after the win over Palace, Arteta was asked about the absence of Saliba. He said, We had to respond and we talked about having players out all season. Gabriel Jesus was out for four months, Emil Smith Rowe out for four and a half months, Kieran Tierney, Thomas Party, Edin Katea out for two and a half months, now Saliba and Takahiro Tomiyasu. We overcame those situations. Rob Holding came in and was brilliant. Everyone has to give another edge to be at the same level. It's not a secret. There are moments we have 14-15 players, but everyone is willing to play and put their bodies on the line, and I am happy that our players are happy to do that. To be at the top, you have to do that all the times. We can't control our games. We have won six games in a row in the league, which is great, and that's it as quoted by BBC Sport. Holding hadn't started a single Premier League game before yesterday due to the brilliant partnership of Saliba and Gabriel Magalis, but the Englishman certainly stepped up and he will be hoping that he has nailed down his place in the side while Saliba is sidelined. Ramsdale explains why Arsenal players are scared to step out of line. Discipline is key in everything one does and that's no different in football. Much can be attributed to Arsenal's fine fortunes this season, but what doesn't receive much credit is how disciplined the Gunners have been under Arteta. Arsenal players have managed to be in control of their emotions, Granny Chaka doesn't easily get into stupid fights like he used to, and now it's only injuries and not red cards that see key. Arsenal players miss games. It's hard to tell from the outside how Arteta has instilled discipline in his team, but listening to Aaron Ramsdale describe it gives you the perfect picture of how he told Sky Sports the following, I think that's where the manager and the coaching staff come in. He has us on a tight leash, which allows us to express ourselves, be ourselves, be our own characters, and then all he has to do is give it a quick pull and we are back in order, back in line. It's very easy to get ahead of yourself when you are doing so well. And as such a young team with young players, 
But when you have the boss as our manager and stealing the fear factor in the team, it's very hard to step out of line. But when you do, he gives you a little quiet word because making mistakes is part of football and life. We are all individuals. He has different ways of doing it. You will be back in line sharpish. Ultimately, all that is going well for Arsenal is because Edu won a jackpot when he gambled on a green Arteta back in 2019 to take a charge of Arsenal after they were in a position where it seemed they had lost their way. NBC Pounded says people don't appreciate how good Ben White is. Robbie Musto has told the two Robbies podcast that he does not believe that people appreciate how good Ben White actually is after the right backs display for Arsenal in their win over Crystal Palace on Sunday. The Gunners have gone into the international break eight points clear of Manchester City. The result was all the more impressive because of their Europa League exit at the hands of Sporting this week. Mikel Arteta's men were absolutely outstanding against the Eagles and White was arguably one of the stars of the show at the Emirates. He set up Bukayo Saka for one of his goals and so much of what Arsenal did well against Palace came down the right flank with the 25-year-old causing plenty of problems. He also did brilliantly to contain Wilfred Zaha. Garth Crooks suggested that the England international had the Palace talisman in his pocket for the large majority of the game, and his performance prompted Musto to suggest that his form is going under the radar. He told the two Robbies podcast the following, Ben White is growing as a fullback, more really as a central defender when he came from Brighton, but he's got a natural ability to play in different sports. He is quick, he is a good defender, he is surprisingly safe and steady on the ball. He showed with his little assist, he poked a ball through to Bukayo Saka for his lovely goal. He did a great job in Zaha for the most of the part after that first little run and I think he is a player that I don't think people appreciate how good he actually is. There is so many other players to watch in the Arsenal side, I get that, but if you watch what he does with the ball, his defensive side of things, his passing side of things, I think Ben White is a little underappreciated. It's remarkable to think now that White had barely played at right back before this season. Had Arsenal supporters been told that neither Takahiro Tomiyasu or Kieran Tierney would be prominent players for the Gunners this term, they may well have been extremely concerned. And that concern would probably only grow had they learned that White would be a stalwart on the right, but he has been a revelation in that role. Arsenal target Kvara achieved same impressive feat as Bukayo Saka yesterday. Arsenal eased to victory against Crystal Palace in the Premier League yesterday, with Bukayo Saka shining once again. The Gunners extended their lead at the top of the table to 8 points, with Manchester City not in action. Saka's feat was actually matched by a player the Gunners have been linked with in recent times. Gvara is one of the hottest names in European football at the moment, and as Saka was for Arsenal, the Georgia international was at his brilliant best yesterday against Torino. League leaders Napoli cruised to a 4 0 win over Torino, with Guevara scoring the club's third goal from the penalty spot. Guevara then turned provider in the second half. Dombele had only just come on and was on hand to finish off the winger's sweeping cross. That assist was important because it now means that Kvara has 10 plus in each category. The static will only draw more attention to Wing Wizard, who signed for Napoli last summer for just £10 million. Pound. One wonders if Arsenal might be seriously thinking about making a move for the star in the summer. Arsenal do have good depth in the wide areas, but this is generational talent and he could help the Gunners reach the next level. Him and Saka on the wings would be scary. I will be uploading daily Arsenal news, so keep your eyes on the channel and don't forget to like and subscribe. I appreciate your support. Peace out.